All right, here we have a Hoover multi-purpose 20 inch box fan. Someone told me the model number to it years ago, but I cannot for the life of me remember what it was. But anyway, this is a really oddball fan. Um, I've only seen like a couple of these show up. And I, as far as I know, I'm still the only one that has one. I mean, I think there's like one other that I've seen show up on the fan groups but other than that as far as i know i'm the only one that has one of these and this one's an oddball but i'll get to how i got it first but this was back in like 2016 i was helping a guy clean out his house after a fire and the guy was kind of a hoarder and he had all kinds of stuff um, but anyway, he let me go through whatever he had and take whatever I wanted. And I got a lot of fans out of that place. I got this fan. Technically, this fan came from there. And quite a few others. Some of them are sold off by now, but I still have a couple of them that I'm going to hang on to. And this being one of them. Um, when I got the fan, um, I figured out it was a really odd fan because, I mean, for one, it's badged as a Hoover, which, how often do you see a Hoover box fan? It has the Kellair style blade and the Kellair style cabinet. And from what I was told, this fan was actually made by a company called Polaris Air. And they made, like, all the Kill Air variants. These, um, a few other fans that were similar to this style. Um, but yeah, they were, it was a company, I think it was based in, like, New York, I want to say. But it was, the company was called Polaris Air. And they sold fans, much like Lakewood under various different brands, but never their own. Um, there is Polar Polaris Air fans from what I've seen, but they're not very common. But anyway, back to this one. This one was an oddball because originally it was a one-speed fan, but it has a two-speed McMillan motor. And I found that odd because from the factory, the low speed wire was capped off it was actually with one of those like crimp things and i just always found that very odd now at some point a one speed switch broke and i converted it to a two speed but so that's why it has an oddball knob on it usually it would have had a killer style knob and the handle is one of those, uh, like, milk house heaters. They have these little things on the front of them. And I think I was scrapping that one, and I ended up using one of those pieces for a handle for this fan. And it's worked out pretty good for so far. But there's the Hoover badge again. Here's the back of it. It's a very older Macmillan motor but there is the information it was weird because it the motor was painted over at some point I don't know if that was done from the factory or what but I had to scrape the paint off this tag which was 1.9 amps which is actually lower than newer versions of these McMillans. Kind of odd. But I guess we'll see if it actually draws 1.9 Because we got the kilowatt meter out. And I did repaint it. It was originally brown. Then I painted it green. Now it's brown again. Because brown. But anyway, here is high. This thing actually moves some really good air. 
And originally, this was the only speed this fan had. It was just high. Drawing 1.9 amps. I believe it was rated for 1.9 amps. Which is weird, because the newer McMillan's draw like 2.4 or whatever. So this one seems a little bit more efficient than the Lakewood version. Well, the McMillan's that they use in the later Lakewood fans from like the 80s and later part of the 70s. I'm going to guess there was like a catalog you could order McMillan motors from back in the day. And you could just pick out whatever ones you wanted, order them, and slap them in your fan. And I would imagine that's what a lot of manufacturers did back in the 70s, 80s, even 90s. But yeah, that's high speed. Going 1.9 amps, 155 watts. We'll go below, which has never been really used much on this fan and it emits a very interesting smell this is low speed which is actually pretty nice on this fan and I'd imagine since this motor hasn't been used much on low since it was a single speed originally that the smell is just the motor getting used to being used on low speed. But, we got the kilowatt meter out, so I can make sure that's the case. We're going 2.3 amps. 253 watts. Yeah, I don't think I want to use that anymore. I don't know if it's supposed to be doing that. But I uh, don't feel comfortable doing that. Maybe it'll go back to a one speed. But yeah, it draws less amps and watts on high than it does low. That just doesn't settle right with me. But anyway, shut her down, OFF spells off. And yes, that's a stove knob. Yeah, I think I'm just going to convert this back to a single speed, because I don't feel comfortable using it on low. That's a really good coast down, though. Very good coast down, actually. <laughs> That's like actually a pretty heavy blade that's on this fan. Weighs about as much as a, a GE blade. But yeah, there's the Hoover multi-purpose single speed oddball box fan. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.